Ouais. I was just thinking I should have got a bite by now. Calm down, buddy. Nice one, too. Good way to start the day on the old spinner bait. I was down here drinking my monster. One of them came up beside the boat. I threw the old spinner bait out there on him. Hey, that's a nice one, too. Big old fat one. Oh, he's hooked good. Get in here, boy. Oh my God. <laughs> that's a big old chunk right there. Wow. About two and a half, I guess. If I had to guess. Hey guys, Steven Turner here with Turner Fishing. So if you're like me and 90% of other bass anglers out there, you know, our wallets aren't filled with money that, you know, isn't going towards bills, isn't paying off a car, isn't buying food for your family. So buying these $100, $200 spinnerbait rods, it just doesn't seem plausible. In my honest opinion, I've won a lot of money on this rod and reel I'm about to talk about now. And I have really no complaints about the rod or the reel. Um, used, I've used these rods probably two years now and I use them for a lot of different applications but spinnerbait is one of the number one a spinnerbait and a chatterbait but let me introduce you I mean you've probably seen them around thought they were a piece of junk I'm not gonna buy that but the Shakespeare excursion man oh man look, let me tell you how much this rod costs guy 19 95 at the Walmart. What? What? <laughs> yeah, you can pick these rods up. I mean, they got other sizes. You can get a 7.2. Uh, they got heavy rods. They got medium, heavy, uh, straight, medium. Now, what I like to throw my spinner baits on is a 7 foot medium. Now, with these extursion, the tips on them are extremely soft until about the fourth eye. And that lets me have pinpoint accuracy with my spinner baits or chatter baits that way i can get that bait in the strike zone around the cover i'm fishing around the boat dock make sure it's hitting into the cover and all that that you got to do uh i got this paired up with a abu garcia black max uh, black max is one of my favorite reels i actually own i think about three or four of them now i'm a budget fisherman you know unless some company out there is going to be sending me some stuff it's coming out of my pocket and the tools I use, in my honest opinion, has never caught me the fish. I've caught the fish. Whether I'm using, you know, a Walmart reel, a freaking Sinclair rod and reel combo or something. But I've never, like, yeah, I've had reels that go bad, have to buy a new one. But that's where the budget fishing comes in. I probably use this rod right here for over a year. And if it ever breaks, I've got my money's worth. Honestly, <laughs> a year rod for 20 bucks. I mean, you can't get no better. The only complaint about this rod I get, you see how yellow it gets? If you leave it in your boat in the sun for a little bit, they will turn a little bit yellow. They won't be as white. But like I like to tell people, my boat's a fishing boat. It don't got to be pretty. This rod's a fishing rod. It don't got to be pretty. So, <sighs> I paired I pair this up with a 14 pound trilene, another cheap line. I mean, I've had fish break off and I've caught a lot of fish. I have no complaints with the line. So what I like to throw 90% of the time as a spinner bait is a Strike King with the painted blade like a shad. I think they call them red eye shad spinner baits or something like that. They're about six bucks. You know, I don't like throwing trailer hooks. I fish shallow 95% of the year. Uh, to me, trailer hooks get me caught on a lot more stuff, especially when, if I'm fishing brush piles or lay downs, and you gotta make multiple casts into these to get different angles. I tend to get hung up a lot more with a trailer hook. Now, if I'm fishing down a grass flat or 
on points or something and they're short striking it yeah i'll put a trailer hook on it but this right here is my limit getter now i've caught five plus pound fish on this on this exact rod you know and i boat flip them i mean it's a good rod now once you get that limit let me tell you another little secret spinnerbait rick clon trickster right there you can see it this spinnerbait, this spinnerbait here costs you about eight bucks, but Rick Klein designed this spinnerbait to make a different vibration. This isn't a willow leaf. This isn't a Colorado blade. Like this one's got a Colorado and a willow. These, he put these blades at a different angle, so they make a louder, uh, different thump than everybody else is throwing. So you pair this up with a twenty-dollar rod. A forty fifty dollar reel and an eight dollar spinner bait or a six dollar spinner bait and I'll catch a limit on this one switch to this one to try to find those bigger fish so if you don't believe me guys go spend 20 bucks at Walmart pick you up an exertion pair it with your favorite reel of course uh, you can even get the agility one at Walmart for 30 bucks that's a good reel it'll last you a couple months and when I say last you a couple months, that's getting your money's worth, in my opinion. If you have a different opinion, let me know down in the comments below. This has been Steven Turner. Please hit the subscribe button down there if you enjoy videos. We're going to be producing content all year long, like always. We try to get out three videos a week. So I'll catch y'all next time.